Hey everyone, it's Adam with UploadWP.com. In this video, we're going to continue with our WooCommerce template structure tutorial. Uh, specifically, I'm going to show you how to override some of the uh, checkout page templates. Um, so we're going to jump right into it, and I'll show you how to change three things. The first thing we're going to do is we'll change this billing address uh, to uh, say something a little bit different. We're going to make it larger. All right. So to do that, we're going to go to this documentation. Uh, that WooThemes has provided on uh, their template structure for WooCommerce and we're going to scroll down to checkout and then we're going to find let's see form-billing.php so this is what we need to go uh, find uh, so let's go ahead and connect via FTP and then if I scroll down and we'll go find our site again we're using uh, our demo site is digitaldownloadsdemo.com I go ahead and then go to wp-content and plugins and then scroll down to WooCommerce. We're going to then open up the templates directory and then check out, uh, we'll open up that directory and there's form-billing.php. So I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and select view slash edit. That'll open it up in notepad. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make my change you'll see right here is the billing address label so um, I'll just say enter billing address and then and again you can make any changes to these templates that you want I'm just showing you this um, as an example of how to, the process for overriding WooCommerce templates so let's change it from an H3 to an H2 just to make it a little larger and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy everything here I'm going to open up Notepad++ and I'm going to paste it in. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save it as uh, form-billing.php. And again, that's important. It has to be it has to be saved as the exact thing that it shows in the documentation. So um, if we look at checkout and then form-billing.php, that's exactly what it has to be saved as. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Let's say form dash billing dot php go ahead and save that alright I'm gonna go back into FileZilla and I'm gonna reconnect and now I'm gonna go back to my demo site let's see digital download demos and I'm gonna go into WP content and this time I'm gonna go into themes I'm going to find the theme I'm using. In this case, it's uh, the Mistyle Child theme. I'm going to open that up. And you can see I created a WooCommerce directory within uh, my theme. So I'm going to open up WooCommerce. And now I need to add a new directory. Uh, if we take a look again at the documentation, this one's Checkout. So we need to create a directory called Checkout. So let's go ahead and do that. If I right click in here, Create Directory, and I'm going to call it, again, it's got to be called the exact same thing. So we're going to call it Checkout. Okay, and now within this checkout directory is where I'm going to uh, I'm going to just grab form-billing.php the file that we just modified, and I'm going to drop it in checkout. All right, and then if we go back to our demo site, and if I refresh the page, this will change and will become larger. There you go. So now you see it says enter billing address, and it's an H2 instead of an H3 heading. All right, let me show you to do another thing on the checkout page. Uh, this right here that says have, have a coupon, enter your code. All right, so we want to modify this. All right, so let's go back to the documentation and we'll see checkout and then we'll see uh, form-coupon.php. That's the file that we're going to modify. All right, so let's go back to FileZilla. We'll reconnect and let's scroll down and let's go to our demo site and then in here we're going to go to WP content and plugins and then to WooCommerce and to templates open up the checklist uh, checkout directory and there's form-coupon.php so we're going to right click on it and say view slash edit and that's going to open it up in notepad and we're just going to make some simple changes it's a to this that have that says have a coupon we'll just say want to save money question mark and then we'll just change this it says click here to enter your 
We'll just add coupon. Okay, so I just made some simple changes to the uh, title. Let's see. All right, so again, I just changed what this says. Um, so we'll go ahead and we're going to highlight all of that. We're going to copy it. And then if I go to Notepad++, I'm going to paste it in. All right, and then I'm going to save it as uh, we're going to save it as form-coupon.php because that's what it's uh, that's what it's called out here. So that's what we're going to save it exactly as. So form-coupon.php. Go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to go back to FileZilla, reconnect. And we're going to go to WP content themes, find the theme we're using, in this case it's the Mistyle Child theme, open up the WooCommerce directory and we're going to find form-coupon over here, the file we just modified, and we're going to drop it in the checkout directory. Alright, and then let's go back out to the site, and when I refresh the page this should change. Okay, so you see now it says want to save money, click here to enter your coupon code. Uh, let's do one more example. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, go through the checkout process quickly, purchase this product, so that I can show you how to make updates to the order received or the thank you page. All right, so I'm going to pause the video, quickly fill this out, purchase this product, I'll be right back. Okay, so I filled out the checkout form. I'm going to go ahead and place order. All right, so now I'm on the order received page or the which is also it's actually called the thank you page. All right, so what I want to do, let's say I want to make some updates to this order received page. Uh, let's say we want to change this, thank you, your order has been received, to something else. All right, so to do that, again, let's go take a look at the documentation, check out, and then thank you.php. This is the file that we're going to modify. Okay, so let's go back to FileZilla, let's reconnect, and then let's go to WP Content, Plugins. Let's go to WooCommerce, Templates, and then open up Checkout, and thank you.php is what we're going to modify, so we're going to right click on it, select View slash Edit, that'll open it up in Notepad, and then we'll go ahead and we're going to change this, thank you order has been received, just to say something else, let's just say thanks for your order. Thanks for your order. We'll just change it to something simple. Again, what the modifications I'm making are not what's important. It's the process to show you that you how to modify anything on your WooCommerce site. Okay, so thanks for your uh, order is what we changed it to. So now I'm going to go ahead and copy everything, and then I'm going to open up Notepad++, and we're going to paste it in here, the modified file for thank you page, and I'm going to save it as. Uh, thank you.php. Okay, so now we have our uh, modified thank you.php file saved. I'm going to open up FileZilla. I'm going to quickly reconnect and we're going to go to WP Content. This time we're going to go back to Themes, find the theme that we're using, Mistyle Child theme, and open up the WooCommerce directory and we're going to drop the thank you that PHP file into checkout. All right, and then if I go back to the site, we're on the order receive page. All right, this message should now, ch oops, this should now change right here when I refresh the page. So there we go. There's our new simplified message. Thanks for your order. So hopefully this gives you some more direction on how you can customize your WooCommerce site. Um, and again, this tutorial series is not theme specific. We're using a Mistyle Child theme, but it would work with any theme that you're using because we're overriding uh, WooCommerce template files. So uh, be sure to check out the full version of this tutorial out on uploadwp.com. Again, my name is Adam and we'll see you in the next video.